Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today to do a Sunday All Sign reading for the sign of Sagittarius. <laughs> Sagittarius, you are finally not last, <laughs> you're next to last. <laughs> Capricorn is last this time. So today the sun moved into Aquarius and um Let's see, we will be doing this reading from tomorrow, the 22nd, um, until Sunday, the 28th. And in that period of time, Sagittarius, we have a full moon in Leo, um, a fellow uh, fire sign. And that will um, peak on the East Coast between 6 and 7 in the morning. And then um, on the West Coast, very early afternoon or late, late morning. Okay. So that'll be in this energy. I've already said my prayers and called in my spirit guides. Okay. And we are going to be um, asking spirit um, what's coming towards you in this coming week that you don't expect. So what is coming towards Sagittarius in the week ahead? What energies are coming towards Sagittarius in the week ahead? Whoa, we just have a, an explosion of energy here for you, Sag. bottom of the deck and when I finish shuffling we have the energy of rock and endurance and if you look at this card you can see this tree has had to go through all this hard shell to get up to here to bloom and grow and whatever you're working on you've worked so hard through all of this to get to this growth so don't give up on yourself okay we also had the equator, and this is about um, to make things fair, and this is balancing our light and our dark energies within us, okay? Then we have lake with depth, and this is about the depth of emotions that we go to, going deep in our energy and feeling, right? What do we feel deep down in there? And you might be down in this place getting clarity and um, up above, you know, there's a castle there when you come up for air, right? We have snow with silence and I've really marveled at this the last few days. We've had a lot of snow falling and even in this bitter cold we've had for days now, life is just so still and quiet. Even today on a perfectly sunny day with blue sky um you know we're still below freezing in minus um territory with the wind chill i think it's like minus seven or something like that it's really cold i did see birds out flying today for the first time in days and it might be just the sun um so that was nice but yeah there's this stillness that is just in the air you don't hear people out and about. Nobody's moving around. You hear my dog barking right now, but that's about it. <laughs> and then we have water energy with creation. So Sagittarius, you may have some water in your energy. And you might be manifesting or creating something right now. You really had a lot come out for you. Animals and companionship. You may find um, great companionship with animals. Animals may be drawn to you or attracted to you because of your uh, calm nature, healing nature that you might have, and you might find great companionship in them. We have the moon. Hmm, the moon is with darkness. The moon is feminine energy. Okay, so I may be reading for a feminine Sagittarius here. And bushfires with fury. So you may have some kind of passionate energy 
burning up in you that might be coming to a fury, a boiling point where you'll need to take action on it in some way. And you don't necessarily have to be a feminine Sagittarius here that I'm reading for. This just means that um, there's feminine, feminine energy about, okay? Um, we all have masculine and feminine energies, so this very well, I could be reading for a masculine too, okay? So because we have this full moon later in the week, I'm going to use moonology to see what might come up for that for you. Okay, spirit guides. What do we have for Sagittarius in this week ahead? What energies are coming towards them? What do they need to know about? got a lot of information that wants to flow to you. Your dreams need a practical plan. So Sagittarius, are you working on something um, that you need to um, have more of a practical plan with? Something going on or somebody uh, associated with you need a more practical plan in your life? Then we have a time for healing. And this is a balsamic moon. Okay, so you might be going through a period of healing right now. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. you got to take a risk, a chance sometimes. you got to step out of your comfort zone. Don't let pride get in your way. Right? Don't let your pride... Um, Maybe your um, ego was hurt at one time and you're not letting it take action because you're afraid of that same pain again. And just because that happened before doesn't mean it's going to happen again, Sagittarius. Take a risk, take a chance in your life. Your commitment is being tested. Is there something in your life that you need to take action on? Something that you want to do? How committed are you to it? And are you not taking action on it? Be bold and make the first move. Okay? Be bold and make the first move in whatever situation this is in your life. Bring love into the situation. I think we can lead with love all the time in our life. I don't think there's an, ever a reason when we shouldn't. And luck is on your side, a new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Okay, so whatever you're thinking about doing, you're going to get lucky with it. Wow, Sagittarius. Now, I forgot to say, Sagittarius, that this could be your energy or someone attached to you, okay? So don't take on energies that aren't yours. Okay, so it looks like um, somebody's going to be making a bold move and taking some action, taking a leap of faith in some direction here, stepping out of their comfort zone. And what do we have for Sagittarius in this week ahead? What is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Cards are really flipping for you here. You must have quite the energy, Sagittarius. 
Okay, when I stop shuffling, we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're, that Empress energy is kind of spreading over the reading. In the center of the spread here is the Three of Pentacles, and this is an energy of coming together to mend a situation and to grow something all new together. Oh, we have one, two major arcana cards down here, and we have two aces. Okay, so let's run through it. We have the Five of Swords. And this is an energy of someone that is conflicted. They are up in their head, maybe argumentative, maybe always arguing with people, getting in conflicts, disagreements. Um, they've had enough of it. They want to get away from it. They're moving away. They're taking their swords and they're leaving. Then we have the sun. This is illumination, right? It's happiness, joy. Um, it's the yes card. And that goes into an ace of pentacles. So an opportunity that's going to bring great happiness into your life. In our middle row, we have the Six of Swords. This is moving away from something terrible, troubling in our life, a toxic situation maybe. Going into this more collaborative energy. And then we have this Eight of Swords, somebody that's up in their head worried about something. They feel like they can't see clearly, they don't know what's going on and they're worried about it. Then in the bottom row, we have the Knight of Cups, somebody coming forward with a message of love, an offer of a love, cup of love. The Magician, somebody manifesting and transmuting energy, alchemizing it into something um, better. And then we have the Ace of Wands. This is about passion and creativity the potential for this to come into your life. So it looks like um, someone's going to be making an offer of love to someone, perhaps the Empress that's on the bottom of the deck here, okay? So we're gonna take Light Sears and clarify some of these energies here and see if we can't figure out what's happening for you, Sagittarius. So tell me about the Five of Swords energy. this five of swords that's the ten of cups that doesn't look very happy you're in the wrong place oh that's the devil energy the devil energy is that five of swords energy and they want to get to this happiness this ten of cups energy tell me about the sun Ten of Wands, somebody putting down a big burden in their life. That would be the Emperor. Now we have the Emperor and the Empress. saw the card flip. I hate it when that happens. There it is. Okay, and the Emperor is in the moon energies, deep in their energies, and they might be hiding some information. And Archangel Michael is here, keep, keeping them him calm. And strong, getting him out of his sadness with that illumination of the sun. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, 
Ace of Pentacles is the Ten of Swords. The Three of Cups, somebody giving an invitation of a get together, communication of some kind, but somebody is in Nine of Swords up in their head about it, worried about it, sleepless nights. Anxiousness, fear, overthinking, over worrying, maybe even a little depression. And they have an opportunity to walk away from all of that. And I have the Queen of Swords there and the Empress. So now we have the Emperor and the Empress out here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. It's the King of Pentacles moving away to a calmer place. And he is single and available. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Knight of Cups is there. Queen of Wands is there. The Sun is there. Illumination. Seven of Swords. Someone running away. Maybe is returning. Someone is leaving something else to come towards you. There's a tower there. So seven of Swords can be someone that lying, cheated, deceived, stole, you know, something like that. They may have run away from you at once and maybe now they're going to return. This King of Cups. And he's going through a death and a rebirth. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Somebody's up in their head about the Two of Cups. Here comes some communication about that. Somebody is in the hanged man. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. He appears twice here, so that's a big message. The Knight of Cups is in the Eight of Cups, walking towards their happiness. What else about the Knight of Cups? He's looking for justice, balance in a situation. Tell me about the magician. The magician is the Knight of Wands. This is somebody in a very passionate, fiery energy. You have a broken heart. Anything else there for the magician? Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the 
five of pentacles, somebody feeling like they were left behind, abandoned. The hierophant, a commitment, and the wheel of fortune. Tell me about the ace of wands, please, spirit, for Sagittarius, this passionate energy. King of Wands there with the passion. And he's looking towards the Four of Wands, making a commitment, having some stability in a situation. And He's in the chariot, moving forward in a balanced and controlled way. And he's in the Page of Pentacles energy, about to deliver a message of some sort of an offer. Okay. Um, Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What is the Wheel of Fortune here? It's coming together to mend a situation. Okay, tell me about the Devil Energy. energy is the star with healing. So this must have been fear over here with this devil. It's somebody coming in with a message of truth here. Okay, tell me about the hanged man energy. of a cycle there for the hanged man. Clarity is going to come in. We have judgment, the lovers, a decision, a choice, eight of pentacles around work, the king of swords, it's a victory. And that's what he's going to communicate. Tell me about death and rebirth, please. Isn't this where we had the tower? Yeah. Tell me about more about the tower, please. cards left. Okay. Tell me about death and rebirth. Six of swords, someone moving away from conflicted energy, manifesting something new in his life. Manifesting a wish come true. Okay, when I stop shuffling for you, um, Sagittarius, we get the Page of Cups here. And the Page of Cups is about a beginning love offer, right? It's like, a, hey, you want to get a cup of coffee kind of energy. Maybe a text message of some kind. Could even be an apology sometimes. 
Okay, so Sagittarius, it looks like you have an emperor that's going to try to make their way to you. Um, we have an emperor here who's uh, putting down his burdens, right? Archangel Michael is working with him um, to come forward towards you. Um, Spirit guides, what is the outcome for Sagittarius at the end of this week? What happens? Three of Cups. The Queen of Wands. Aquarius energy with the star. Healing, illumination. Wish come true. What else for Sagittarius in the week ahead? Outcome. Three of Wands. This is a receiving energy. Queen of Cups. Devil, the Six of Cups, Okay, Sagittarius, so I think your outcome for the week, is going to bring you to the Six of Cups. You'll have this Three of Cups energy, um, the Queen of Wands energy, the Star energy. This could be healing, illumination, a wish come true. Three of Wands, this could be somebody getting ready to move towards you, make an offer, or this could be you waiting for the offer to come in. Um, the Queen of Cups energy, and then Six of Cups, right? So that's what we have. No real action there that we can speak of that's going to happen. This could just be playing out more. Um, in the energies, somebody moving balanced and forward in their life. Okay, it might not be ready to come together quite yet. You might still have some healing to do and some energies to work through, okay? But it looks like there's love here that is trying to come together. It just might not be time yet, okay? What can we show Sagittarius for the week ahead? What do they need to know? Sagittarius in the week ahead. Excuse me. Okay, this is what we have for you, Sagittarius, in the week ahead. Um, keep your uh, 
Keep your vibration high, right? Be playful. Have fun. Be silly. Laugh. Have a good time. Air spirit knowledge is coming in. Information is going to be coming in. Help provide you with some clarity. The reflecting pool. Be still so you can get the messages you need to hear from spirit. Starry night. This is acceptance of the situation the way it is. What's meant to be, what's going on in your life. Um, better understanding of maybe the situation to accept it. Foggy Bay, being patient, doing the healing and staying patient in a difficult cycle. Hummingbird spirit with joy. Joy and happiness is coming into your life. And then Pine spirit. Pure spirit. What does that say? Put your glasses on, Carol. Yeah, pure spirit. And it's about purification of your energy, your being. Um, the angels are helping you with purifying your your energies, okay? So that's what we have happening for you at the end of this week. Um, Sagittarius, it looks like someone has to take action on you um, or that you need to take action in some way. Um, a lucky... Um, luck is on your side, right? And maybe you're just not ready to take that action yet. And maybe you will be. Maybe you'll get some kind of a, an epiphany or something here in this energy. But it's time to take action in your life. It's time for healing. And your dreams need a practical plan here. Okay. That's what I have for you in this week ahead. Sagittarius, there were some beautiful energies here. Um, I hope they all come into you the way um, you want them to in this week ahead. Sending love and light to everyone. And I will see you in the next reading. And thank you for supporting the channel. Take care and stay warm.